Wimper High School, we have many sets of twins and multiples that are enrolled, including myself. A twin is one or two persons or things closely related or resembling each other. Before we talk to the students in our school system, we want to discuss how twins are formed. Identical and fraternal twins are formed in different ways, so we want to display the developmental stages of both types of multiples. Identical twins are developed from a single zygote or egg. The egg splits and forms two embryos. This is called monozygotic or single zygote. When the egg has split, the DNA in the embryo determines the gender and the babies develop likewise. Fraternal twins, however, are developed from two separate eggs that do not join or separate. These are called dizygotic twins. From the moment the egg is fertilized, the baby's gender is selected based on their DNA. In this segment, we interviewed and talked to twins from the elementary school. The twins interacted with each other and gave very interesting answers to our questions. The, rea the reactions display the closeness and meaning of the relationships with his or her brother or sister. So, what's your name? Colin. You are? Graham. And you are? Luke. Right. <clears throat> triplets. Connor. And you are? Brody. Samantha. And you are? Samantha. Will. Yeah. And Sam. Sam. Okay. Oh, Dennis, one go. So, Samantha and Savannah, what's y'all's favorite thing to do together? Play. Play. What kind of games do y'all play? So, what's it like being a twin? Uh, when Savannah. Nice. What's, what's Savannah? Together. Okay, to play together. What about you, Samantha? Being nice. Being nice. Which one of you are the good twin and the bad twin? Oh, it kind of depends on what. If we're grumpy that day or not really you want to see anybody that day. Yeah. So it's just kind of a mixture of both good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do to with each other? Well, um, Usually it's probably with you. Sometimes we like to play outside and play basketball. We have a goal. I like to play basketball too. So I'm with Adonis, and I'm going to ask you, what's it like your twin being at middle school? It's like I'm free in motion. I'm so free. I can do anything I want. So you like being away from your sister? Sometimes. Y'all ever play together? Do you like being a twin? Do you really want to ask that question? I do. <laughs> it's, it's sometimes good, sometimes bad. Does she have your back? No. <laughs> All right. So how is it being triplets, guys? It's like having two extra brothers. Okay. That's true. You can play. You can play sports with them. Basketball too. Y'all were getting in fights or anything? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. like, like, what are you getting fights over? Front seat too. Front seat. seat. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Get that right. <laughs> well, how do you feel about dressing the same way? Mm. Don't really like it. Who's the boss? Yeah. Me. 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 I'm the older one. Really? You're the older one? That doesn't mean he has Who comes boss. next, man? <laughs> you do? So you're the youngest? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Too bad. So, guys, what's it like having someone who looks exactly like you? We can answer that. Why would you want to answer it? Mm -hmm. People tell us what our names are, we get them mixed up. They get them mixed up. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What kind of sports do y'all like? Baseball. Basketball. Baseball and basketball thing. Do y'all like the same teams? <coughs> really? Sometimes. Some of them. Uh -uh. I like the heat. Well, what do you like? Heat, Lakers? Celtics, and, um, and Bulls. Okay. I see y'all are dressed the same. Do y'all always dress alike? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Does your mom dress you alike sometimes? Does it get annoying when she does that? Because people mix you up, isn't it? You like being called by your brother's name? So your mom said that when one of y'all gets in trouble, the other one tries to get the get him out. Mm -hmm. Like saying, he didn't do it, he didn't do That's it. That's me. 
<laughs> you do that for him? Do you love him that much? No. <laughs> Adonis, will you tell us what it means to be a fraternity? Look into the camera and tell us. Listen, guys. Guys, listen. Here's what it means. I don't. If, if I was fraternal, her friends would take on her. her. I mean, I don't want her friends to come her because most of the time they say, oh, they just tell each other secrets. I don't want them to know their secrets. That's girl talk. That's gossip. Gossip. That's all that is. So do you think you and your twin look alike at all? No. <laughs> okay. See, we think, we think Chandler and her twin, they kind of look alike, but then they're boy and girl. Okay, okay we're first. Thing you like about being with we get to play baseball with each other. I'm faster. <laughs> I get to play basketball with them. I get to play baseball with them. I'm faster than them. Sometimes she plays with me. Sometimes. But most of the time, we really don't play. What do you like being about time? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Hmm? What about you? <laughs> we'll play basketball. <laughs> I have a brother to play with me and who's the same age, so it's not like doing a baby. To have somebody to play basketball with you. Next, we are moving on to see how twins interact at an older level. At the middle school, we interviewed one twin, whose other half is at the elementary school, and three other sets of twins to discover how their feelings change from a younger level to a slightly <coughs> older level. I'm Owen. I'm Parker. I'm Colin. I'm Kobe. My name is Alice. My twin is not here because he's, he's at the elementary school and I'm in middle school. Do you like not having your brother at the middle, uh, at the middle school or is there, would you rather have him here? Or? Like some stuff, um, I, I don't want him here about, and then some things I do want him to be here, so it's kind of in between. So um, Owen and Parker, which one? Which one's which? Owen and Parker, right? Okay. What's the best thing about being a twin? Basketball. 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 Yeah. So how how would you say y'all? What what position do you play basketball? You play the same position or uh, different? I play point guard, which is Lila, and he plays shooting guard. He shoots it, and um, we can like kind of make our own plays up, like we do in the driveway in the game. Um, my fa the favorite thing is, like, kind of what she said, having another person that cares for me. Um, so my parents. So when y'all work together, do y'all miss each other? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Like, what's unique about, uh, I'm older. Uh, I was, he was born at midnight, at 12. I was born at 10, so. Mm -hmm. So, my mom was born on July 29th, he was born on July. Cool. Well, do you celebrate your birthday on Sunday? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Do you ever try to, like, confuse your parents or to make um, um, so in, kind of in kindergarten, we used to uh, confuse the teachers. So. <laughs> <laughs> and they, found, they, like, figured out and they were so with the rest of the teachers. That's the best grade. So. <laughs> What's the best thing about being a twin? The best thing about being a twin is having somebody there for you all the time. So do y'all like uh, um, help each other with schoolwork and all that? Well, in fourth grade we switched classes and he took my math test and I took his science test. So how did you feel when you realized you were a twin? When did you realize it? Probably when I was about three. I felt like I was seeing a double most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> when y'all were little, did y'all ever like if he got hurt, did you feel it? No, but we can say stuff before the other one says it and the other one was about to say it. Uh, do y'all ever finish each other's sentences? Mm -hmm. Miss People, she calls me the bad twin, she calls him the good twin. <laughs> <laughs> well, since her last name's good one, she calls us either good one or bad one. Oh, some think he's better. The girls in our grade, they say, like, I'm a good one, and he's a bad one. Who gets in trouble the most with your parents? Oh, me. But he gets in trouble more at school. <laughs> um, Who gets in trouble the most? Well, mostly, 
I don't really get in trouble in school, but I'm the one that always gets in trouble. <laughs> who makes better grades? Um, he, he makes higher A's than I do. Higher A's. Maybe she thinks one of these the real one and the other one's the imposter. I think I think my daughter she understands me too. What about you two? They like dressed dress alike. Like. Dressed just alike in full fourth grade. And it got on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, we asked the nonis, but he said obviously y'all don't dress alike. <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> See, we when a dentist and me not really a lot. We're not. Well, you other two guys, do you think when you get girlfriends, you think they'll trick them? Mm. Try to stop places? No. What about double dates? You think when you get over, you'll double date? Do you double date, Jalen? I used to. When I was little, I did. I did go on double dates with my brother. <laughs> with my mom chaperoning us <laughs> and driving us. In the front seat. In the front seat. <laughs> If they want to guard number three, so I'm number three and he's 20, and they just call us we can switch numbers yeah. and they'll get mixed yeah. up. They'll get it mixed up. <clears throat> but we never done that, but I think that'll be fun. Yeah. So do y'all all like, do you like the same foods? Um, not really. He's yeah. kind of picky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you two? Uh, hot wings. He likes, hot wings. He likes me meat. Too. He likes kind of hot wings, chicken more than I do. I like vegetables. As American women put off their pregnancies until past their thirtieth birthday, they are increasing their chance of having multiples. This time we interviewed high school twins. Instead of doing the interviews in a group setting, we interviewed each set separately. Weird. It's pretty okay. We have real. So, do y'all have like the same interest and in all that? Yeah, we like to go king hunt, deer hunt, fish, turkey hunt, fish. So, what was it like being a twin as a child? It's real. Yeah. Mama made, made us dress the same. <laughs> yeah, bad. I don't like it. Do, do y'all still dress the same today? No. I will never dress like that. No, I don't like being mean. So, do y'all love each other? Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much? Yeah. Do y'all ever fight? Oh, yes. A lot. A lot. What kind of fights? Like fist fights or? Fist fights. Yeah. Sometimes. What was your most asked question, or what is your most asked question? Who are you? Five minutes apart. I'm over five minutes. I get the ball soon around. With each other so long, I mean, just used to it. So, did y'all have any like superpowers, like twin talk or mind reading or anything like that? Our mothers, when we were babies, apparently we would have this, like we we could like we were walking around and stuff. We would talk to each other. My mom would not understand what we were saying, but other than that, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> What's your most asked question? Um, am I Harley? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, everybody's always just like, yeah, so Harley. No, I'm Lacey. What? No, that's Harley. I'm Lacey. No? Yes. It's always like that. So, I mean, it's horrible. <laughs> right, Harley? Yes. She so, y'all are wearing the same clothes today. Do y'all do that often? Do y'all match a lot? No. <laughs> I, I, don't, so. I don't want to look like her all the time. <laughs> When we were in sixth grade, our big sister always made us wear the same things. Like we're, we went everywhere. Like when we went to the beach, we had like the same pink little tank top and pink sh like white shorts and stuff. Don't want to do that. 
you ever get sick of each other? Oh my yes. goodness. We've fought before. <laughs> I've near, Harley and me have punched each other multiple times. And kicked. Oh my goodness. And pulled hair and like... <laughs> yeah. It wasn't... <laughs> it's happened a lot. She looks like she's innocent now. Not at home. <laughs> well, being a twin is really neat. Um, a lot of people think that you're the same person, but you're really not. You're not a clone. Just because you're a twin, you're not a clone. Like Chance and I, we have completely opposite personalities. We're, we're two different people. Really, we don't really have the twin talk. We had more of a bond. It wasn't, you know, like we we feel pain, but we know if, we know if something was wrong. You know, it's not a it's not a real big thing today, like it was when we were younger. Do y'all enjoy ever having a dress in the Never, never really dressed in the <laughs> We we never we didn't dress in the same exact outfits because I'm a girl and he's a boy. We just uh, we color coordinate a lot. To What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> the whole twin situation was not by choice. Well, obviously. <laughs> I would I would say that I get called Chandler a lot for some odd reason. Our, our names do get mixed up a lot. I'm I'm Chance more often than Chandler. Everyone addresses me first. <laughs> and uh, Chance is older. He's 31 minutes older than myself. Can I learn to train y'all both left-handed? Yes, we are we are both left-handed, and that's kind of rare. Because most most twins are right and left handed, but Chance and I are both left handed, and we are fraternal twins. We're not identical; we're fraternal. Do you love your sister? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course I do. Do y'all ever fight or anything? Right oh my now? gosh, we get into fist fights like Kardashian brawl <laughs> fist fights. I'm talking like. We kickbox and wrestler moves and throw each other up against walls and pound each other. It's intense. It's serious. And it's mainly over, like, Monopoly. <laughs> we get into fights over Monopoly all the time, though. How does your mom react to that? In the beginning, she, she was like, stop, stop, you know, love each other. But now I think she's kind of like, just let it happen. It's going to happen, so just let it, let it go. But sometimes, if it gets really bad and we're like, about to break skin and first blood and all that, <laughs> then she she stops. She stops it. Uh, when we were younger, we used to say that we were each other's best friends and worst enemies at the same time. Bipolar. What? Bipolar. We're bipolar, yes. We're bipolar twins. <laughs> there, there's not really a happy medium with us. We're either love each other on the same page or we're beating each other to a pulp. Kind of how it is. Here at Winfield High School, we have two teachers who have some type of relation to twins or multiples. Coach Joseph Wilson, the girls' varsity basketball coach, is a twin himself. Also, Tara Cook is the mother of the Cook twins at the elementary school. So, Ms. Cook, what is it like to be a parent to twins? Doubly exhausting, um, but doubly rewarding. Have you ever mistaken one child for the other one? Yes, actually, this weekend, while they were playing baseball, uh, I could not see the number, so I had to resort to uh, looking to see who was left-handed and who was right-handed, <laughs> because Brody is the lefty and Connor is the righty, so. What are some challenges that you face as a parent of twins? Um, well, when one is successful at something and the other is not as successful, um, he sometimes will feel inadequate and that just, you know, varies with whatever they're involved in. And we have to point out, continually point out the other one's strengths. 
So that's one thing that we struggle with. Another thing is that if one of them is in trouble, the other one always comes to his defense. So it ends up the, that most of the time they're both in trouble. <laughs> what do you enjoy about parenting twins? Uh, it's special uh, to have two little people that look just alike. Um, and it's also been very uh, rewarding to see them grow up and develop their own personalities and their own strengths and their own likes. And so that's been um, very fun. What advice would you offer to your prospective parents of multiples? As babies, have a schedule, a very, very, very strict schedule. Um, and then expect them to be different, allow them to be different, even though they might be identical, because uh, eventually they will separate and they need to be um, comfortable being, you know, their own person. What are some advantages and disadvantages to being a twin? Advantages and disadvantages. When I see, in order to truly answer that question, I would then need to know what it's like to what? Not be a twin, you see. Um, so it's difficult to answer. Um, I guess you could um, possibly, if one was stupider than the other, and you looked alike, the smart one could take the dumb one's test. That was the case for me, being the smart one. Um, switch places, I guess, something you could do. Disadvantages being called by the wrong name, you know. Especially if you hate your twin, that could be a painful experience. Or, if, in the case of young Mordecai, the male-female thing. You know, um, it could be could one could find offensive. You know, I guess. Otherwise, I really don't know. Are you and your brother identical or fraternal? I'm thinking identical. <laughs> Hard to tell us apart. Um, did you and your brother ever switch places? Yes, uh, seventh grade. I took his classes. He took mine uh, for about six. Weeks. The only time I've ever worn an Auburn shirt is during that time to make the switch, you know, more real. Uh, one girl told on us, and the teacher, I was sitting in there, she goes, those boys are too nice, they would never do that. And I thought, here I am doing that as you say that. Are you and your mother still very close? Uh, we talk a good bit, yeah. We have talked to children, preteens, teenagers, and adults about being a twin or parenting twins. We hope you learned about what so many people are intrigued by. Twins! We would like to thank all of those multiples who agreed to work with us and their parents for allowing them to share their lives with us. We want to thank Ms. Gewen, Mr. Tomley, Mr. Gewen, and Mr. Parrish for encouraging us to explore new areas in our school system.